Okay. So uh, it's ready. Okay. In about 45 minutes, an hour, roughly. Green light's on. See it? Baby's on. Uh, so once that's ready, you want you want this green light on. We're talking like you should be seeing this green light on. Like we're looking like I'm talking like 10 minutes before you know the bridal party walks out. Five minutes even before the bridal party walks out. You know, make sure that green light's on. Um, if this thing sits as a safety feature, right? If this sits here uh, and you don't do anything, you just leave it on forever. See, see, it just did it. It turns off. It'll turn off. So what you have to do to get the light back on, see, it's heated up. You just have to unplug it and plug it back in. Just unplug and plug it back in, and it'll the light will come back on. But you have to kind of like every, like, I think it's a 15-minute window. Uh, it'll kind of turn off as a safety feature just so it doesn't overheat or anything like that. That's all. But yeah, that, that's it. it. It's it's ready. It's it's really it's a tank of hot water, okay. That's all this is, okay. It's a this is a heater tank of hot water. Think of it like a pot for cooking, and inside is hot steamy water. That's it. That tray. You're dropping it down. Set set like that little tray. That's like you're dropping down like for like a fry, you know, like for fries. If you're making fries, same exact thing, dude. It's like, literally, you have a little thing. It drops down. It's literally exactly like. A tray for cooking French fries. You drop it into the water instead of oil. It's like literally the same thing. So this is dry ice. Okay, you're gonna get this. Okay, this only, I only bought a little bit as a demonstration. You're gonna get ten pounds of this. This tray holds ten pounds. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. All right. Do not touch. And I repeat. Do not touch the dry ice with your bare hands. I mean, if you touch it real quick, it won't do anything. You put that shit in your hands and you hold it, it will take the skin off your hands. Do 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 not touch the dry ice with your bare hands. So, what I do is I just grab it with the gloves. You see that? Let's pour it in there. That's it. That's it, man. We're gonna, the idea is we want to like fill this tray up, okay? We're talking this. This should be happening like I'm to, you want to try to time this, so it's like green lights on, dry ice is in there. You don't want that dry ice is sitting in there without being used because it'll just melt. So you want to be putting this in kind of last second, okay? So yeah, you just put put the dry ice in there, it's sitting in that tray, okay? Once you put that dry ice, this should be happening like, this is all about the timing of it, okay? It's real simple, it's a, you know, a hot tank of water, dropping the dry ice into the water, and the smoke comes out around the bride and groom. That's it, but you have to time this. You, you wanna put the dry ice in here, like literally, like as the wedding party is lining up, as as the wedding parties line up, this dry ice should be dropped in here. Okay, so you're on standby while the wedding party is lined up. You don't want to do this too early because it'll it'll literally disappear. All right. Um, I just you want to do this ahead of time, but I have this like tube. Okay, and I connect it to here like this. It's just it's literally just duct. It's just duct. It's just just ducked for like heating and stuff like that. But it's like these little things. You just kind of put it on there. Okay. And this is how you're going to control it. Like you're going to hold it like a fire hose. Right? And you can like walk away. This is pretty long. You know what I mean? So you're going to put this machine. I like to hide this machine like maybe behind the DJ speaker or like behind. Just kind of out of sight somewhat. And just kind of use this tube to kind of... I'm going to use this tube to kind of like direct the smoke. Here, I'll show you. We're going to drop it now. All right? I only have one shot at this, but I'm going to drop it. But yeah, you just, just drop it down. And boom. Here it comes. Here it comes. Look. All right, look at this. 
All right. So you want to take this and you want to like put it all around. You want to go out, walk as pretty close to the bride and groom. And you go like this. You can even get on the floor. Get on the floor. That's what you want to do. Get on the floor and you want to kind of go like this. So it goes around the bride and groom. Okay. You might have to be really close to them. You know, um, but yeah, that's, that's the idea. You just want to have this really, I mean, I, I almost feel good doing, doing it like a test run. Like if you're really early, maybe doing a little bit just to see which way the air is moving. But but uh, that's it. You want to just get this or pretend it's the bride and groom. You want to kind of get it underneath them. And just get it as much around them as possible. That's it. You can even put this. If you find a good spot, you can let, let that sit on the floor and it'll, it'll just come out. But it's already running out. I only put like five, I put half of the required amount in there so we could just do this quick. But that's it. Um, you want to just get that smoke around the bride and groom and that's it.